Hi folks, thanks for joining me on this tutorial. I want to bring you the second part of the Vauxhall anti-theft warning or the ATW warning um, following the first video I did which had quite a lot of success. Um, it helped quite a lot of people out. It was an easy fix for the anti-theft warning system which was just a simple disconnection of the battery and a recharge just to stick a few more amps in the battery. It worked for quite a lot of people but some it didn't. So here's another um, tutorial for you in case you've got a more major problem than the first video that I did on the anti-theft warning. As you can see in front of me here I've got two uh, transponder keys from Vauxhall. Um, this is a, a an original Vauxhall key um, which I've had um, made my other one um, snapped across the top of this barrel and I've actually got it in this um, second hand one which is a cheap Chinese copy. Um, what you want to do is you want to avoid buying these cheap copies off the internet, eBay and such. Uh, they're a few quid because if you have a look at this original one, uh, if I can just show you, that it has the, the European conform, pardon me, the European conformity mark there. If you, if you can see just here on the left, you've got the the GM sign, okay, and a lot of the, the fakes have that as well, which I'll just show you here. So this top one is the fake, this is a copied one, as you can see it's got the GM as well sign on it, it's even got the witty mark on the bottom, but if you have a look at the one on the bottom, um, the, this one which is the original Vauxhall one, it's got the European conformity um, stamp on it there, and this key, um, which is the proper one, is actually it's a sealed unit, um, so you can't actually get inside of these keys. Um, where is if you have a look at this cheap uh, copy one uh, basically you take the battery cover off and everything just spins out like that now what you have to be careful of um, is this little uh, device here this is the little uh, PCB board um, and if you have a look at this part here you see this long black part here that is the transponder coil okay now basically what can happen is as you're taking these keys out um, and apart from the sealed unit as you can see this top corner here um, you can damage the actual back of the transponder coil which is what's happened here as you can see the circuitry doesn't run quite run to the end and as a result when you go to put this back into your, your cheap Chinese copy this transponder coil here is the part that reads um, the software from the car and the car accepts the key when it's put into the ignition and um, this is the little bit of wizardry here so basically this is out of an original Vauxhall key which they're not meant to come out and as you can see you can see this black line here um, that's the that's the left behind off the sealed plastic off the original key so this is the PCB out of the trans of the original transponder key and as you can see that would be the buttons to lock and unlock the car and um, what will happen is because this is damaged when you go to put this key in and um, basically you will get the anti-theft warning system in because it's not actually reading the car's not reading the transponder coil and basically you will be left with a key that doesn't work and um, so my advice to you is these cheap copies what you buy off the internet eBay um, the okay if you just want to put the replacement uh, sort of key in and basically it's done quite simply by knocking this pin out of the shoulder here uh, take the pin out the shoulder uh, put the new uh, the old key back into the shoulder take the blank out and put the key, uh, key back um, so basically this is just being used as a spare in case I lock my keys in the car and that's all it'll ever be used for so just a quick warning, um, don't be trying to take these keys apart because they're a sealed unit. Like this PCB in, in here is sealed um, so that it still works if it's dropped in water, if the weather gets to it. Um, and this is the damage that can be caused by the, um, the cheap uh, Chinese copies. So if you've bought one of these casings, it does give the instructions to remove the PCB out. But be very careful when you're doing it because you've got to chip the old key away. Uh, if it's an original key, you have to chip this out, chip chip the bits of the key out to get to this. 
And of course, that's what can happen is you damage the actual um, PCB board. In this particular case, I've damaged the back of the transponder coil. Um, and if this is damaged and you go to put it in another key, you know, in, an, in a new fob, what will happen is your car won't recognise it if there's any damage to this circuitry. Uh, this particular one which I've had done, um, I had this recut um, off the original, which is that this is the original key here. Um, and I've had this cut off that one. Um, this key was done by a locksmith. Um, he came out mobile uh, with an original key. Um, and I've just put this little ring on to identify that it is the original key. Um, but this key, um, the guy came out with the key fob. Um, recut it off my original and reprogrammed it um, to the car. However, what I would advise you to do is if you've got the original car pass, um, which is a piece of paper which I don't have on me at the moment, uh, which you normally get in all your documentation, um, is keep all of the car pass, because normally the second-hand cars don't have them. Mine did, and it's got the lock number on there. It's got the key number, sorry. So if you've got a problem with the anti-theft warning system, and the first part of me... Um, the first part of my tutorial on a previous video didn't work by taking the battery off then it's likely that this could be the case um, either the keys damaged or the PCB's got uh, water ingress or it's possibly being tampered with you know it's got a, you know it's, it is a cheaper one that's basically on its way out um, so be warned um, and I hope this video helps everybody so please um, if you've if you've got only one key, try and get a you know a look on the internet and look for a locksmith who can reprogram you a new key and recut it for as a spare. Usually around about a hundred to one hundred and seventy pounds, depending if the car can be moved or not. And um, this one cost me a hundred quid because my car was immobilized, but it's well worth uh, paying the hundred quid for. So I hope everybody. Um, it's a bit of enjoyment out this video and has a lot of luck and uh, thanks for watching.